uh, an example with present value here. So if you have a calculator, it's great, but you can actually figure this out without doing any you know, hard calculations. So assume an interest rate of 10%. If you were to pay your friend an amount of $1,000 in two years, what is the present value of that amount? So in other words, what is the fair value your friend ought to lend you today for $1,000 in two years? So you know that's kind of an interesting question. So you, you just basically plug and chug with this formula here. So FV equals PV, one plus I to the nth power. So you're trying to find the present value. So the present value, so you, you know the future value is $1,000. You're trying to find the present value. What is the interest rate? One plus I. So 10% equals 0.1. So one plus I equals 1.1. And then you know it's going to be two years here. So 1,000 um, divided by 1.1 to the second power. So 1.1 to the second power. You can cancel this out here. So 1,000 divided by 1.1 to the second power. I don't have a calculator on me here, so I'm just going to leave it like that, equals the present value. So 1,000 divided by uh, a number greater than 1. So you know that you can eliminate C, D, and E, because they're all numbers that are either equal to 1,000, and 1,000 divided by 1 equals 1,000, so that can't be the case. And if it's a number greater than 1, then you're going to get a number less than 1,000, which makes sense. If someone's going to pay you back $1,000 two years from now, then you would expect to get a loan of less than a thousand dollars. Now, if it's a ten percent interest yearly, then if it's one year, then you're going to get maybe nine hundred something. So this is also too high. So if you lend nine hundred dollars and you get ten percent every year, well, in the first year nine hundred would be nine ninety plus ten percent. It would be closer to one thousand one hundred. Not quite one thousand one hundred, but maybe one thousand seventy or eighty. Um, and so. Just by the process of elimination, then you get 826, which is correct. If you do 826 times 1.1 times 1.1 to the second power, you're going to get $1,000. So it's, it's this idea that money today um, is not the same as money tomorrow. And that's why there's got to be this interest rate that compensates. And again, we're going to go over different scenarios where interest rates go down. What is the impact on lending and borrowing? But before we do that, it's, it's kind of good to know uh, the basis on which exchange is made in terms of uh, borrowing and lending money. Thank you for watching educator.com.